Hey, this is Scott here. I uh, just wanted to show everybody in the group um, who is not doing joint and crack sealing, how we do it out here in Utah. So first of all, we use a product called Dow Seal Contractors Concrete Sealant. You can see that there. It's about, it's between $7.50 and $8 a 20 ounce sausage. And then we use a sausage gun to install that. This particular job has a big wide uh, control joint that has opened up uh, anywhere from two and a half inches down to an inch and uh, we're going to be sealing that so one of the main things that you need to do is to install some sort of backer rod uh, or foam in there to give support to that caulk we have some three quarter inch pro backer rod it's the soft type now i'm just going to show you how we install that here in this track right here. So we just lay it in, come get closer. We just lay it in to give this just uh, about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch below the surface of the concrete. And this will, this will smash down and fit in much smaller gaps but in this particular application, in this joint, it's pretty much just filling that up for us. The other thing that we've done is we've, we've gone ahead and prepped this so there's no dust or dirt along this concrete where we want the uh, Dow Seal sealant to stick to. And uh, now it's pretty much ready to lay some material in there and smooth it out. Other than on this particular one, since it's so wide, we're gonna run some duct tape on either side uh, to help with the, the clean up and smoothing out process. And we'll show you that in a minute. I also forgot to mention that we use on the wider joints and cracks, this uh, half inch and three quarter inch foam pipe insulation. But we had a two inch gap to fill. And so I took some of this Kaizen foam that comes in sheets that you can use for toolboxes and stuff to uh, put in imprints for your tools so they don't roll around. And I just took it and cut it down on my table saw to fit these uh, larger joints and uh, it works really well. It gives a nice flat top to it where you can lay the material in, um, it, which is a little bit better than the round top of the uh, pipe insulation foam. But either way, uh, for these bigger joints and cracks, you're going to want uh, something to fill that in. And I'll give you some close-ups here of what we've got. So here's the flat Kaizen foam. Got the duct tape down. And uh, it just fills that in so that you can save on caulking material. And then at this point, I changed it over from the Kaizen foam to the pipe insulation and continued on down that way. So we're back here, we're laying this caulking down. We're using the Makita uh, caulking gun. Um, it's pretty spendy, but it's worth it. Saves your forearms. And uh, we've got this turned up pretty high um, because it's such a wide gap. And you just kind of lay this down along that edge and lay it thick, lay it heavy because you're gonna you're gonna clean it up with your caulking knives. And in this particular case, we're gonna be using a it's your normal caulking knife. You can't really clean that and do it very well. So we've gone to a hamburger spatula basically and uh, you're just going to start here go across that clean that up you can actually take the extra wipe it in there you can see i'm a little bit shy in a couple of these spots so i'm going to add some more
try this again. Clean that off. Slide that right along the duct tape. Pull that back. See how nice of a job that does across there. The duct tape just really helps to keep it from spreading all those places you don't want it to go. And once we have it like that, we will lay some playground sand over the top of it, pull the duct tape up, and it'll be good as new. And we'll show you that a little later here. All right, so you can see we've got about 12 feet of this laid down now, and we're ready to sprinkle some playground sand on there which will help it blend into this weathered concrete um, a lot better and keep the leaves since it's fall from sticking in there so here we go just taking some playground sand out of a bucket we put it in a cup and just lightly sprinkling it over that So we'll do this on all of our joints here today. And then we'll pull up the duct tape here in a little bit and show you what that looks like when it's all said and done. All right, so here we've taken that gap from about an inch, inch and a half to two inches at the other end. We've got it sealed, sanded, and we're getting ready to pull off this duct tape to reveal what it's going to look like. Here we go. Look how that just blends in beautifully with the existing concrete. Oh, I have to give props to Doug Langston in Houston, Texas with Tilted Concrete Solutions. He's the one that uh, showed me this duct tape portion of this. Um, he deals with this all the time with the wood control joints that they do down in Texas when it rots out. He's called in to seal those babies up and this is pretty much how he does it. Doug, at some point you can watch this video and correct me if I'm wrong. But it uh, just turns out really nice. You want to do this while the caulking is still a little wet. If you wait too long, then it'll you know, pull it out of your joint. All right, we'll stop here. I'll go do the other side. So you can see how that looks. Night and day difference. Two and a half inch wide joint. This is how we do a regular 
control joint. We just lay this in very generously into the joint. This one's a little wider, it's cracked and we started to open up a little bit. But it's not really open enough to put any backer rod in. So it's going to take some material. Then, <clears throat> next thing to do is to take the caulking spatula. And uh, if you don't know where to get these from, Albion has them. Um, you can find them online. They come in a whole kit. This is the biggest one that they make. And I start at the far end. And you want to clean off the excess. So you just take that knife at a low angle. Run it just like that. Clean off that excess. Wipe it in a box. Keep going all the way up to there, wipe that off. Now, take it the other way, put a little bit of pressure on it, similar angle, smooth that out. Nice and, nice and smooth. You can see how clean that, finishes off that non-sag sealant. Then, since we uh, since we put the sand on this one on the big joint, we're gonna sand these smaller joints to match. And I'll show you that. You just take a little bit of sand, sprinkle it right over it, blends right in, keeps the all the other windborne debris from getting in there while you're doing the crack and joint sealing. There you have it. I hope this is helpful for all you guys.